Okay then. Do you like anime? Do oh. <laughs> I can't even do my old little gig without cracking up. What's going on everyone? It's your boy Ooze back in once again with another video. Today we're actually talking about something uh, pretty crazy because I kind of forgot all about the acquisition that Sony made with Crunchyroll and Funimation but if I'm even getting that much right because that's the thing I totally forgot about any and all of this stuff happening right now but to kind of wrap things up here and give you guys what's actually going on Crunchyroll is essentially absorbing Funimation and everything will eventually just become Crunchyroll and everything will just be Crunchyroll and we're all going to be crunching and rolling watching these animes because everything that used to be on Funimation is basically migrating over to Crunchyroll. That's the gist of it. I have an article from Crunchyroll. I, I should have a counter for how many times I freaking said Crunchyroll. <laughs> go over exactly what's going down. Huge news, anime just powered up. Funimation, which serves millions of anime fans in over 52 countries and 10 languages, will be unifying under the Crunchyroll brand. This move will include Funimation's subsidiary, Wakanim, as well as Crunchyroll's Verve to create one subscription service for anime fans worldwide. What does this mean? This means all your anime all on one platform. Starting today, tons of shows and movies from Funimation and Wakanim will begin arriving on Crunchyroll, so you'll get more dubs, more subs, more everything. That includes titles available now like My Hero Academia, Tokyo Ghoul, and Yu Yu Hakusho alongside favorites like Cowboy Bebop and Mushoku Tensei Jobless Reincarnation all under one subscription. Check out the list of new arrivals on Crunchyroll with much more to come. Now if you want to read the rest of it I'll include it in the description as always but there's one thing that I particularly want to know that I'm going to read off of their FAQ. What happens if you have a Funimation account and you're trying to watch through Crunchyroll? Do I get another login how does that work i have the answer not at this time if you're a funimation wakanim or verve subscriber the best way to get access to all the latest shows is to start a new subscription with crunchyroll please note that you won't see your funimation digital copy watch history or queue in crunchyroll yet but we're working on it. So that is pretty good news that they're at least working on getting a lot of these features that would pretty much be a no brainer over onto the Crunchyroll platform because that was actually something that I didn't realize until I read that. There are certain purchases that I have that when you buy the Blu-ray DVD digital combo pack for just about anything that they sell nowadays, the digital code, you can only use that to access on their website. And now that Funimation is no longer existing for Crunchyroll's sake. That's kind of crazy. I've literally been in Funimation headquarters. So what is it? What's gonna happen? Is that building just gonna like take the Funimation part off and just slap a Crunchyroll on the front of the of the building? That's I mean. Yeah, I guess that is going to happen, huh? So all in all, I mean, I guess I wanted to just make this video to, I guess, get the conversation going as always with anything that I do here on this channel and see how you guys felt because this is a pretty big deal, I feel like, even though no anime will be lost and it's not like any of the employees and staff are like fired and it's going to be like a wrestling situation, like who's going to go over to AEW type. It's not like that at all because essentially everyone is just an Crunchyroll employee now, which I mean, I guess is pretty cool, but to see the name and that purple brand the logo be gone and out of the wind it's kind of sad it's upsetting a little bit i feel like because you know you just get used to seeing something for so long and you know i don't like i don't like i don't like letting go of things like that but i mean i guess this is good news for everyone that is not trying to have multiple subscriptions because i mean i guess that can definitely be a pain in the ass now you can at least have one big ass subscription through crunchyroll watch all your anime through crunchyroll and i'm not even gonna lie most of the stuff that i watch nowadays is pretty much on Crunchyroll. So yeah, now my other question is, what's gonna happen to the partners? Because your boy's been a Funimation partner for a very long time now. And if you didn't already know, I've had a link in the description so that you can sign up for a free Funimation trial, but I don't even know if that's even gonna work now, is it? Will that trial turn into a Crunchyroll trial? Because if so, I need a new link, Crunchyroll. But I digress. How are you guys feeling about this news about the Crunchyroll takeover? We're going to be crunching and rolling throughout all the remaining years of anime that's going to be coming out. And let me know if there's any recommendations on the side of you trying to see me check out anything. And I could definitely do some follow up videos if that piques your interest. Let me know in the comments below. And make sure you guys are liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And please hit the bell for the little notifications because I'm going to be doing my best to be getting you guys daily YouTube content here. Okay? So. Work with me now, all right? Take it easy, guys. Make sure you keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I'll see y'all next time.